hello guys welcome to another video in the series of coding today we are going to do the problem which is called swap nodes in pairs so you are given a linked list you have to swap every two adjacent nodes and return its head so let's try to take an example to understand this suppose you have a linked list which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so what does this mean 1 is connected to 2 2 is connected to 3 3 is connected to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 7 to 8 okay 8 is connected to null what you want to achieve you want to swap the first two pairs so you want to swap 2 and 1 you want to swap the next two pairs you want to swap 4 and 3 you want to swap the next two pairs you want to swap 6 and 5 okay so 6 and 5 then you want to swap the next two pairs so 7 and 8 will be swapped and you will get 8 7 after this you also want to create a links here 1 is connected to 4 3 is connected to 6 5 is connected to 8 and so on right so you are just connecting all of them this is the final answer that you want to achieve so what are we doing okay let's see the steps one by one so what are we doing first step is we have to create links we have to reverse the links between each step right so what is the first step first step is very simple okay let's say you have two nodes 3 is your first node and let's say 4 is your second node so in the first step what you are doing you are simply reversing the links between first and second okay so our first line of code is very simple whenever we have two pairs right so what is the first line of code seconds next will be equal to first if you do this what will happen so second is four fours next will point towards three you will get this link right so this is the first step that you have to do okay after you do this first step right what is the next step next step that you want to achieve is next step you want to achieve is you want to create connections between this so for example one should be connected to four right three should be connected to six and five should be connected to eight right this is the next step that you want to achieve but okay but how are you going to create these connections okay let's discuss step by step let's let's discuss step by step let's let's say let's say the link list we have is one two three four five six seven eight okay so let's say you have created let's say you have created the first first connection okay let's say somehow i'm saying i've created the first connection to one okay let's say i've created the first connection to one now what are you going to do how are you going to create the next connection right how are you going to create the next connection what do you want to achieve what do you want to achieve see this what do we want to achieve we want to we want to achieve this right let's just focus on this let's just focus on this okay and let me erase everything else let me erase everything else we want to achieve this as our answer we want to achieve this as our answer this is our answer okay so what i'm saying i'm saying let's say i have the first connection to one okay let's say i have the connection now i have to transform the remaining link list into this portion how am i going to transform it let's observe what are the changes what are the differences and we'll be able to understand our answer so what are the nodes that we have first we have the node three second we have the node four first step is very simple right first step is very intuitive currently three is connected to four i want to reverse this connection i want to connect four to three right so the first line of code that i'm going to write is very simple what is my first line of code second the node second the next of that should be equal to first okay first line of code is very simple done okay done what is when i do this i connect four and three when i do this i am connecting four and three if I connect 4 and 3, the connection between 4 and 5 will break because 4 is connected to 3 now. Okay. What is the second step that I want to achieve? See in this answer, in this answer, 4 is connected to 3, this part is done. But 1 is also connected to 4, right? And 3 is also connected to 6. Let's look at it one by one. First of all, 4 is connected to 3, this is done. Now 1 should be connected to 4. So 1 should be connected to 4. We need to create this connection. Okay. So we need to write this statement next line of code that we should write let me so we need this node one so let me call it previous right let me call it previous so what what should happen one should be connected to four that means previous should be connected to second okay if i do that if i do that the connection between one and three will break and one will be connected to four which is what i want right i want to create this connection so what is my next line of code second line of code is also very simple previous previous is currently one one should be connected to what the next of previous should be equal to second okay it should be equal to second which is nothing but four okay 
so let me write this connection since one is connected to four let me write one af after one let me write four okay so let me just write the connection properly one is connected to four and four is connected to three right so let me write them in order so one is connected to four and four is connected to three right so this is the connections that i have been able to achieve let me also name the nodes so what is four four is my second and what is three three is my first so observe this carefully so we have achieved this one is connected to four four is connected to three what is the next connection that we want to make now three should be connected to the next piece three should be connected to three should be actually connected to six okay in this example but let's say what if what if we have this case one two three four five what will be our answer in this case when you reverse you want two to be connected to one you want four to be connected to three and you want three to be connected to five okay for this case the answer is this okay the answer is simply this because you don't have a node let's say if you had a node six in that case six will be connected to five but here your nodes are ending at five five has no pair right five has no pair so three should just be connected to five so if there is a dangling node at the end if there is a dangling node then it should just be connected simply so in this case so what we will do we will make the connection between three and five because of the case we just saw right so the next third step we'll make the connection between three and five okay so what is this connection so you need to give a name for this node also so let's say this node is future node okay so you need to make a connection between three and five so what is the third line of code the next of first right first is three the next of first should be equal to future so the next of first should be equal to future so let me write that piece of code the next of first is going to be equal to future that means three should be connected to five okay so now we have created all the connections okay now let's discuss the next pair what are the next pairs so the next pairs are see you, you have already connected the pair two and one you have now currently connected the pair four and three next pair you want to change is five six right so five six should be your next pair so what should be five five should be your first node in the pair and what should be six six should be your second node in the pair if five and six are the first and second pair what is previous what is going to be previous three will be the previous and what will be the future future will be equal to seven okay so what is the simple thing that you have to do you have to change the previous okay so previous what will be the new previous currently what is three currently three is first right currently three is first red is the current and black is the future that you want so previous should become equal to first because next time you want three to be the previous node okay so after this what are the lines of code that you will write so first of all you will write previous previous should be equal to first okay and after this what you want after so when you write previous is equal to first what will happen so let's let's see what will happen so currently three is equal to first right so that will become equal to previous okay so let me write it carefully so let me change the notes previously okay. let me change the notes what will happen the previous node will become equal to three okay and next time you want phi to be the first node right and what is currently phi currently phi currently phi is the future node currently phi is the future node you want to make it the first node so what after this line of code what you should give you should make first the first node is equal to the future node okay that's it this line of code these line of codes are going to solve all your problems right so after you give this line of code what will happen five will become equal to first and three will become equal to previous okay and then you can just give second how you can obtain second so five is connected to six right so the next connection of first is just the second node and you can give future future is what the next connection of second node is the future node okay so these like these simple lines of codes as your are your answer these five line of code are your answer okay so now let's quickly uh, do a dry run of this entire uh, solution and then it will be clearer okay so let me erase all this because let's do a dry run from the very beginning using these five line of code that we have written and i'm i hope that it will work okay so let's start so what is our current what is our current situation right so let's write the current situation first of all so currently one is connected to two two is connected to three three is connected to four four is connected to five okay L let's just do a dry run of these five nodes simply okay let's do a dry run so currently we'll start with one as the first node and we'll start with two as the second node okay 
what is the first thing you are doing seconds next is equal to first right so because one is connected to two you want to reverse the connection you want to make two connected to one so as soon as you give the first line of code right as soon as you give the first line seconds next should be equal to first seconds next should be equal to first so second is two and one is first right so this connection will get reversed after this what you are doing previous next should be equal to second right so in initially you don't have any previous so you can declare a dummy variable let's just give its value zero okay so previous next should be equal to second so we will make this connection right so zero will be connected to two okay so let me write the proper connection zero is going to be connected to two and two is going to be connected to one okay zero is connected to two and two is connected to one right zero is connected to two and two is connected to one so two is the second node and one is the first node okay so this is the connection that you have given after this what will happen after this what is your third line of code third line of code is first next is equal to future right because you want to give this connection also so you have to give a node 3 3 is future right and first next should be equal to future right so you have given this line of code done now after this what are you supposed to do after this you are supposed to make the changes so previous is equal to first for the next iteration right so observe carefully for the next iteration you want to see these are the current nodes for the next iteration you want to shift all these nodes right all these four nodes you basically want to shift so let me just try to see if i can shift okay i am uh, okay let me let me just erase and shift okay so previous is equal to first what will happen so previous this is the current previous and one is the first node right so in place of the first node I will get previous node right so this is my previous node okay what is the next shift first is equal to future right first is equal to future so what is the current future node three is the current future node so in place of this what I will have I will have first right I will have first okay done right for the next iteration I have these nodes right this is what I wanted in the next iteration this is what I wanted I wanted one to be my previous and I wanted three to be my future node right one to be previous and three to be my first node now uh, next line what what i should give four right so four should be equal to the next node of first so i can just give a line so what is second second is initially the next node of first right because i have not yet initialized the node second so second is just the first right so i can give the node second so four is my second node right and also what i can give i also need the future node right so we also need to declare future node so five is my future node so what is my future so future is just equal to seconds next okay that's it this is the entire code actually this is the entire code so now let's quickly do the dry run so what is the first condition seconds next is equal to first right this is the first condition because what we are doing we we want to reverse the link between three and four so when i give the first line what will happen the link between three and four will get reversed and the link between link between 4 and 5 will get broken okay now what is the next line of code previous next is equal to second right so 1 1 should be connected to what 1 is previous right previous should be connect 1 should be connected to 4 for the next iteration 1 should be connected to 4 so that's what i'm doing when when i give the statement the link between 1 and 3 will break 1 will be connected to 4 right so let me reverse and write because 1 is connected to 4 4 is connected to 3 right so let me just write 1 is connected to 4 4 is connected to 3 4 is your second and 3 is your first okay now after this case what will happen after this case first next is equal to future what is first 3 is first right so 3 is next is equal to future 5 is your future node so 3 will be connected to 5 okay so this is the connections that you have after all these all these lines of code okay now for the next iteration what should happen previous should become equal to first okay so previous should become equal to first so let me change the previous let me change the previous in the next iteration previous should become equal to first that means that means three is your previous right that means three is your previous three is your previous okay and in the next iteration first should become equal to future okay first should become equal to future that means phi is the first node right phi is the first node phi is the first node okay so for the next iteration this will become your conditions and you can erase all this so your previous is equal to 3 and your first node is equal to 5 and so on right you can keep on doing these iterations so this is the simple lines of code that we have right so after this what will happen 
after this you will you will have to you don't want to do any further iteration you have achieved the condition right so you can give a condition check you can keep on doing this you can keep on doing this either okay you can keep on doing this see now the future node is null right so when the future is null you can stop or the first is null you can stop okay so these will be the conditions so let's quickly write the same line of code that i have uh, written here so what are we doing so first of all first of all what i am doing what is my first node so list node star okay first first will be equal to head right this is my first node right now let me write the while condition so let's write the while condition okay now let's write the same condition that we discussed right so let's see one by one seconds next should be equal to first this is the first line of code so let me just write it seconds next is equal to first this is the first line of code for the second line of code we wrote previous next should be equal to second right previous next should be equal to second so previous next should be equal to second was the third line of code that we wrote first next should be equal to future first next should be equal to future now after that what we did we made previous equal to first for the next iteration previous is equal to first and also for the next iteration first is equal to future right first is equal to future first is equal to future okay. after this what we did see now if i am giving this i have not yet declared second right so i should declare second also so second is what second is just first next so let me declare the node second because if i don't declare it i will get error so list node star second is just the next node to first right for example if you want to reverse 1 and 2 right in this case 1 is 1 is first and 2 is second okay just the pair of nodes that you want to reverse in that second is your first next okay after this see you have also uh, declared the future node future is seconds next right so we also declare that so list node star future is equal to seconds next okay now what are the conditions that you have to give after this condition is very simple we discussed right either the future should not become equal to null but if you if you if you give the future here right you are declaring future inside right so what are you declaring outside outside you are only declaring first so we'll give the conditions in terms of first right so while first and first next okay first and first next okay so these are your conditions right these are your condition so first next is what first next is second right so for future okay future to be valid for future to be valid second should be valid right see what you are doing suppose your first is null in this case if you give nulls next you will get error so first can never be null because see if your first is null right if your first is null and here i had given nulls next i will get an error right this will this will give me error so i can i can never have future null okay future cannot uh, sorry first can never be null so that's why i'm giving the first condition also what is the second condition second condition is c if i am declaring future what I, what is second basically second is just first next right second is just first next so instead of second let me write first next here okay i can also give it like this first next next okay this is also valid so now first next should also be valid because if first next is not valid here i will get null right and if i get null i i don't have a next pointer to null so this will give me error this will give me error right so that's why i don't want error that's why that's why first next should also never be null so this is the next condition okay that's it these are the condition now there is a node previous which i have not yet declared so what is the node previous so what we did we took a dummy node right we took a dummy node so let me take a dummy node and what we what we basically did we just took its value equal to zero and what we did we took a previous node and we made that equal to the dummy node and we basically join previous next is equal to head why we did this c in the end in the end what do you want to do first of all in the end what you want to do you want to return just the node starting from 2 so if you have a dummy node right if you have a dummy node you can just return the next node of the dummy node you want to return starting from 2 right so finally what you want to return you want to return dummies next okay dummies next that's it this line of code should work let me just submit and see if it's working it's working thank you for being patient and listening